Hi folks, I'm Steve Cullen, editor of Total Fly Fisher magazine, and today we're going to tie another deadly killer. Um, today we'll be tying a, a pearly pheasant tail. At this time of year there's a lot of pin fly in the water, and this little pattern is going to do the damage for you. Very basic stuff here, I've got pearl miler, medium pearl miler, black thread, and pheasant tail fibres. What I'll probably do is, I don't usually use a rib. Uh, I think on this one I will. I'll use a little bit of tying thread for the rib, then we'll be sorted. So let's go ahead and tie the fly. Very simple fly to tie this. Wind on the tying thread, it doesn't have to be neat. Let's just do that again because I want to leave myself a tag end here. That's going to be my rib, you see. Wind down somewhere opposite the barb. That's just there. This tag end of thread here, that's going to be my room material, it'll just make the fly a little bit more secure. Take some long fibres from a pheasant tail, six, seven, eight, just whatever. Rip it off, see what the stubs together there. Catch it in and try and get the, the fibres the same length as the, the hook shank for the tail. So a couple of loose thread wraps, pull the pheasant tail fibres until you're happy, I'm quite happy there, and lock it in with tighter thread wraps, very simple. Pull the fibres back to where the tail starts, now bring the thread back at the body towards the thorax area. And it's simply a case of taking your pheasant tail fibres and winding it in a clockwise direction up the hook shank, making sure the wraps are nice and even. There shouldn't be any lumps or bumps on the body. And finally, just lock off with a thread wrap and get my bobbin under control there we go what I like to do is bring the pheasant tail the stub ends up towards the eye this means that my thorax area should all be the same thickness there we are sharp pair of scissors trim that off behind the eye now with the tag end of thread, this is a little sneaky bit here. Wind this up in the opposite direction to the pheasant tail. Like I say, I don't normally use it. This is quite a sturdy fly. I mean, I know that pheasant tail fibres are prone to breaking, but because of the slimness of the fly, usually when you're pulling the, the hook out of the fish's mouth, you can get away with it. So there you go. That's the body and the tail. The tail is probably about the same length as the body, as you can see. Now I'm going to take my pearl miler. Oh no, actually, I'm going to take a thorax. So again, quite a few fibres here. Rip off the stock. Quite tough that one. By the tips. Well, I see the tips, probably more the centre of the feather. Tie them in. This is going to be your thorax cover. Touch and turns with the thread, up to a point behind the eye. Take your scissors, trim the butts. Tidy everything up here because what we want is the thorax area to be nice and even. So, up to the top, just behind the eye, take your medium pearl miler and snip it off. Tie that in 
just behind the eye. Now, we have just got to wind this up and down the thorax to create the pearly area. This is great for representing the pin fly, by the way, at this time of year. And there should be an abundance of this stuff, an absolute abundance. The amount of coarse fish we've got in our reservoirs just now, all this warm weather. This is a fly that should, hopefully, do the damage. Look at a thread wrap. Another couple, just to secure. And just trim. It's always nice to have really sharp scissors when you're using pearl miler, any kind of tinsel really. So you can see I've got the thorax area now. I'm just going to pull the, the extra pheasant tail fibres that we've got here. Pull it over the thorax area, making sure there's no gaps in the top. And just tie it in behind the eye. Try and keep everything nice and neat and tidy. Now I'll just take a single thread wrap to lock that. Make sure I'm happy with everything. Yep, it's looking fine. Another couple of tight thread wraps. Sharp scissors. Trim it at a 45 degree angle. That makes the head nice and tidy. And my build up of thread wraps, just tidy up the head area. Everything should be in proportion. That's pretty much bang on. Give me a second, a little bit of varnish. What I'll do is I'll take my whip finishing tool, whip finish down towards the eye, keeping everything nice and even. I've got a little blade on the end here. Keep thread under tension. That's it done. A little bit of varnish now. I need my dubbing needle. Bear me a second. Should have a dubbing needle in here somewhere. There we go. And now, what I like to do here is because I'm putting quite a dot of varnish on here, is tip the fly back at an angle so nothing runs into the eye. If it does, just take a, an old cock hackle or whatever, strim the flues away, push the stock through the eye, and it'll actually clean it and tidy it up. A little touch of varnish. Pearly, pearly pheasant tail. Fish it as a nymph, pull it as a lure, it's going to work both ways. Try it in any line density for a floating line through a sinker. A great fly for this time of year, especially when the pin fly is going about. That's it folks, the pearly pheasant tail. Get tying. See you next time. Bye bye.